Go. Go Let's live. Let's do it. We're live. Push the button. Good morning, New They're York. They're waiting for it's us. It's Saturday night. No, it's Friday go, morning. Go live. Buffering, buffering. Oh, no. Bad connection. Buffering. Give it a moment. Buffering, buffering, buffering. And we're back. Oh. Uh, we There's bad connection today. Yeah, there is. It's not on our end. Our stuff's fine. Yeah. Blame YouTube. Um, we're sick. We don't know if we have the corona, but we've only been around two people, which are Mark's parents. Yeah, let me do one thing real Okay, quick. well, I'll keep talking. Um, we, we've only been around two people, and they are, and it was Mark's parents. Um, they're the only people that we, so they're also sick. Um, they got sick before us, and they got their COVID test yesterday, so they should get their results. And we will know if we have it, if they have it, and that will save us having to get tested and taking testing opportunities away from somebody else. Because well, I, don't, I don't think we have it. I, yeah, I think that we just have colds. But disclaimers, um, if we're sick, the show will still go on. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Etsy's Cyber Week sale. Over the last few weeks, we've had a lot of questions about it. Now, if you've been following us through the Black Friday prep madness, you'll know that there are two types of sales that I recommend. My double dip strategy, which is great if you've got a social media presence, if you've got an email list, if you've got a collection of repeat buyers, because what you need to be able to do is market your double dip sale to those individuals uh, because you can't market a double dip to new people just coming into your shop organically. So there's tons of videos about double dipping on my channel. We did a Friday bean video about double dipping and my Black Friday toolbox is linked down below, which has the double dip strategy video in it, as well as my Black Friday survival guide checklist, which if you guys don't have it, this is the last week to get it. You need to get it because you can follow it over the next week, everything that you need to do to prepare for Black Friday, whether you're double dipping or not, is in there. So you can follow that checklist every day to get yourself prepped and all of that's free down below. Now the second sale that you could host is through Etsy's Cyber Week site-wide sale, which is going to put you into their curated Black Friday section. Now the difference between the two is that being found in a curated section is going to be hard mm -hmm. uh, just because it's so big. So you're the little fish. That's the big C. But if you don't funnel directly to your storefront, it's better to be the little fish in the big C to be the little fish in the echo chamber, right? So it would be better to do Etsy site-wide. If you've got a big audience uh, and you don't care about being that little fish in the big C and you want to be, you know, buffering. If you want to be the little fish in the fish pond full of food, then do your double dip sale because that is going to really drive your your just diehard fans crazy and they're going to love it. So I do the double dip every year, but I've got a big audience. I know that many of our alphas do the double dip uh, every year and they have built great audiences. Uh, Handmade Alpha Academy students usually choose to double dip because we teach them how to build their big audiences and funnels. So that's all, you know, that should help you decide whether or not this is for you. Uh, before we get started, I do have just a couple quick things. I already talked about the Black Friday toolbox. Look for the toolbox emoji down below. That's free. This is your last week to get it. Even if you're not holding a Black Friday sale, my graphics pack is in there. That's free. And normally you have to pay like $50 for graphics packs like that. So I created it by hand. It took forever. But you can use it for your holiday marketing. And some of the, the graphics, like the lollipops and stuff, you could use year-round. Um, hi, Bubbers. Um, currently taking place up until, when's the 22nd? That's Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Until, the, until Sunday, we're still running our Alpha Virtual <laughs> Craft Fair. Um, we've learned a lot from it. Quite a few Alphas did make decent sales from yeah. it. Um, but you can really see the alphas that did. So if you didn't make sales from it, what I recommend doing is taking a scroll through the virtual craft fair, which is on Facebook. It's linked down below. And really look at the posts that are doing well. 
Look at how they're written out. Look at the photo. Look at how the person is engaging with their audience. I can see a trend on the photos that people aren't engaging with versus the ones that people are. Uh, it seems like people are not liking collage photos very much. They want to see like one photo of just product. People aren't responding to things with a bunch of text. This is like a like an actual uh, like test group that we can learn from. Yeah. So um, start taking notes on it. Start looking at the posts that are performing well. The giveaways are performing fantastically, which is great. Uh, and that's a good opportunity to build out your email list. So um, there's all kinds of things that you can learn from that. Again, it's only running until Sunday, so feel free to link down below or check the link down below. And after Sunday, we might leave the group up, but Amber Marie and I are the ones who are moderating it. And I think probably what we'll do is we will just, because we can't moderate it forevermore. Um, forevermore. Forevermore. We'll probably just not keep as close an eye on it, and it might just turn into a, a free-for-all, but really important. Uh, and it's the main reason we created it, was so that alphas could shop from each other. So even if you can't shop, go show some yeah. love. Aw. Are we good? Yeah. I apologize in advance for the buffering that this is going to be doing. Uh, it's not on our end. It's on YouTube's end. It's for some reason not receiving data from us, but I'm able to check from my phone, and our side is fine. So if it's buffering, it's not our fault. Yeah. Just let me know if I need to repeat anything. Um, but yeah, support your alphas. Give them some love. Uh, there should I don't want to see a single post without like uh, at least a heart comment on it. Give each other love. Um, let's see. Two more bits of news and then we get into the good stuff. Handmade Alpha Academy will be opening on December 1st. It only opens twice a year. I hate marketing my thing. <laughs> do yeah, you, we don't really care for it. I hate marketing my thing. It's my least favorite thing to do uh, because I give free things away all year. And then when I start marketing my thing, people are like, eh you're marketing a thing we but, gotta we gotta eat but we gotta eat <laughs> <laughs> we, we gotta eat we gotta eat and we want to be able to continue doing what we do plus handmade alpha academy has rendered us hundreds and hundreds of very successful students yeah so, it's, it's done well for quite a few people and not to mention all the things that people ask for that we can't tell you about like things like mailchimp where we don't want to get you in trouble and in turn get us in trouble that's the only way we can teach you that kind of stuff so yeah because we don't want you to end up making a, a devastating gdpr mistake but yes. in haa we cover all of that because <laughs> you can message us if you need help so anyway handmade alpha academy is opening december 1st as long as you are on our email list and you get regular emails from us because you've signed up for the black friday toolbox uh -huh. or you've signed up via the handmade alpha academy waiting list link which is down below as well you will get a thousand dollar discount you will get we've got 12 bonuses now because we're about to add an automation series bonus and a lead page bonus um, and you're also going to get 12 months of E-Rank Pro, which we yes. can also provide a, a moderate amount of support for because we also work for E-Rank now. Yeah, we so. both work for E-Rank. She, she uses it, though. I'm more just a guy that looks at numbers. He's a number guy. But, I'm, I'm a number guy. Yeah. So December 1st, and then it's closing on the 10th. That's not like a, a scarcity money grab thing. That's a Starlin Mark literally can't have mm -mm. it open year-round because we wouldn't be able to dedicate time to the students. Nope. Um, because we aren't, what, what do I, I always say we're not disappearing coaches. We're coaches that actually stick around and are not just like, Literally hey. Literally all year. Buy my thing and then you never hear from them again. Yeah, no, we don't do that. And then the last thing is mark your calendars. Whether you decide to enroll in Handmade Alpha Academy or not, uh, December 5th, I am hosting my yearly free Brand Planet webinar. It is an actual masterclass that I presented to 1,200 people at the Raw Artist event in Columbus, Ohio. I presented it again in Louisville, Pittsburgh, and then Columbus mm -hmm. again. And I presented it at the University of Dayton in Ohio as well. So that's coming December 5th. You guys are going to be getting uh, registration information on the first, the night after Handmade Alpha Academy opens. So mark your calendars, December 5th. It's going to be the same time as the Friday Bean, noon Eastern. All right, let's talk about Etsy Cyber Week sale. Yes. We've had a lot of confusion. Mark and I had some confusion while researching it. Um, we, I, I think that we have literally every single thing that Etsy's told us about the Cyber Week sale. We now have it all 
and we're going to present that to you today. Uh, is there any is questions? There, yeah, was there any questions that we should get that Ooh. we should go ahead and answer for them before we uh, I'm go to this over here because I can't quite read the chat thing here. That's okay. fine. Okay, I'll just make sure that uh, there were there were a couple small ones. Nothing nothing super pressing. Uh, can you explain how the free shipping thirty five dollar thing works? It doesn't seem to be working for me. I just end up doing a uh, free shipping on all, but it makes my prices high. Yeah, there's no such thing as free shipping. It's shipping included. You have Some, to. Yeah, somebody's got to absorb the cost. Exactly. So um, if it if it's gonna make the price of your products too high, then just don't offer it. Yeah, it's then you not, can't offer it. Right. And and I know that there was like a big conspiracy <laughs> when Etsy first rolled it out, saying that it was gonna help search ranking, but they quickly pulled that back. Um, and you can test this for yourself. Go to Etsy right now. Type anything into the search bar. Type silver necklace. And if not every single product on the first page says free shipping, then you'll know that the that it is not contributing to ranking. Otherwise, it would be the only thing on the front page. So with, with necklaces, probably there's a good chance that they might all be because it's cheap to ship. I've tested it. Okay. I've tested it. I trust her word more than mine. Yeah. So um, don't worry about it. Um, in fact, we're going to be talking a little bit about it today. So. I noticed the $35 doesn't always give my customers free shipping. I always refund them their shipping costs because it's supposed to be free. Um, uh, could it be a um, currency could, difference? Or do you have it applied to all of your listings? Because you have to, I think you manually have to apply it to all of your listings. Um, if you're still not seeing anything from it, that sounds like an Etsy support problem that you should contact well I'm, one, I'm wondering if it's a currency difference like is it 35 american dollars in currency or is it 35 dollars flat across the board so like if you're in europe and you're using pounds is it 35 pounds or is it whatever the conversion 27 pounds whatever the conversion would be for us to, and, and let us let us know if you're in the uk and you're dealing with the free shipping stuff is it 35 pounds for you guys or yeah i'm not sure uh, I made four sales and bought three oh, things. Thank you. Awesome. I made it slurping the coffee as well. I chugged mine before this live stream. <laughs> Can we have a Christmas live party? No one will have office parties this year. We'll think about it. Maybe. Maybe. That might be fun. I think there was one more that I missed. Let me scroll up just to make sure. Mm, I think we got it. Yeah, no, That's there, it. Was, there was one more. Um... I don't know why, but it looks like my free shipping doesn't make my product price higher at all. It says it's increasing my prices by zero dollars, but that's these calculations or something. Okay, so Pam said it's the equivalent of thirty-five dollars. That's nice to know. I didn't know that. I'm in Canada, but it says thirty-five U.S. I don't know about Europe. Okay. All right. <laughs> I do get it. <laughs> Mark's like, what? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you, you remember the episode of Spongebob where Spongebob's in the flower suit throwing the flowers at Squidward and Squidward just sitting there all grumpy? There was a meme that that's me and you. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead. Oh, is, is there a way if we can tell if a sale comes from the Alpha Virtual Craft Fair? Uh, Only if you know their name from the Virtual Craft Fair. I don't think so. Not unless you offered a coupon code that was exclusive. What's Amber said we could play Etsy games. Guess the highest ranking keyword of 2020 was, and what was Mark's least favorite tw trend of 2020? Maybe we'll do like another charity live stream. That would be fun. Yeah. Maybe do because uh, I wanted to do something for the Trevor Project. We'll figure something out. All right, let's talk about Etsy Cyber Week sale. Normally, Etsy Cyber Week sale runs for eight days. It has for the last few years, but this year they're running it for 10 days. They're running it for 10 days because they're anticipating more shoppers are going to be shopping online this year. Obviously, especially with all the lockdowns. Our state's locking down. I know the UK is completely locked down right now. Um, yeah, so it's going to be running from November 23rd to December 2nd. And as a seller, you must opt in by November 22nd. So you've got until Sunday to opt in if you want to do it. That's why we wanted to do this live stream, regardless of the fact that we are sick. Uh, shoppers are going to get exclusive access to this sale early 
if they have the Etsy app on their phone. So Etsy app users who are shoppers, not sellers, shoppers are going to be able to access the sale on November 23rd at 12 a.m. So midnight, uh, night of 22nd, morning 23rd, you know. Um, yeah, so if they've got the Etsy app on their phone, which is not the sell on Etsy app, the normal Etsy app, they'll be able to access that sale early where all of the sellers are selling together. And Mark and I have just kind of figured that this is going to be a curated page that they'll have access to. So obviously if they found you, you know, in a normal search page that you're still going to show up, your sales still running because hopefully, you know, you get it started by the 22nd. Um, but the actual curated page will not appear on mobile until the 23rd. And then um, the full sales event is going to start on November 25th. And that's going to be on Etsy.com. There's, a, there's a couple people asking where the opt-in option is. I'm going to get to that. Okay. Okay. We'll get to that. Yeah. Give us just a minute. I told you, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> Every single thing. Slow down. So, shoppers are going to be able to visit uh, Etsy.com slash cyber to access the sale. That's the link. Right now, it redirects to um, their normal Etsy.com slash holiday section, which is currently on your Etsy homepage if you go straight to etsy.com and you're not within your shop manager you're just on etsy in the top left corner where all the different categories are holiday sales is the very first category so etsy.com slash cyber will redirect to that tab but on black friday or on during the black friday or cyber sales event that will be its own unique uh curated page so um, it's and this is going to be completely separate from the Etsy.com slash holiday sale page. OK, um, so how do you opt into it? That's been the big question, because for a while we didn't have anything. We didn't have a way to opt into it, but now we do. Um, so Etsy, now when you are in your shop manager, you should all have a big blue box. And it says Let's see, uh, 2020 holiday checklist. So look for that. It, it's like a really pretty little painted blue box. It's really big. And it says, get ready for Cyber Week in one click. Run a sale from November 22nd to December 2nd and take part in the biggest shopping event of the year. Now, when you actually click on the button that says to run a sale, because it'll say that little thing and then it'll be on the checklist to run the sale. It says that the sale will run from 12 a.m. Eastern on the 22nd of November, and it's going to end on 11.59 Eastern on December 2nd. And it says, we'll create a new sale called Cyber Sale 2020 for the discount, which is what is going to show up in your um, in your stats when you're actually in your marketing tab where you want to keep track of you know the results of your sale. It will be labeled, pre-labeled for you as Cyber Sale 2020. Now, you have to offer at least 20% off to qualify for this. You cannot do it for 10% or 15%. It has to be at least 20%, but you can do 20% and beyond, okay? So right when you click on the box, it's already going to have 20% in there, but if you want to offer more, you can. Um, so additional items that are on that little checklist in the blue box... Uh, running the cyber sales, obviously important if you're planning on doing that. Next one is help shoppers discover your holiday inventory. Start advertising listings from your shop with Christmas in the title. My oh my, have we had to deal with a lot of cleanup based on this checklist item. I even had to tell Anthony Wolf about it. Etsy worded this very poorly. And Mark and I have had to clean up a lot of messes based on it. It says, start advertising listings from your shop with Christmas in the title. What does that sound like? It sounds like Etsy wants you to go into your listings and edit them and put Christmas in the title. They, they forgot that context matters. That's not what they're saying to do. And we had, uh, when we talked about this in the don't mess up your Etsy, don't do this on Etsy, don't mess up your Etsy SEO video, what we did it this week. Um, anyway, I had comments on that video that said, but Etsy themselves said to go put Christmas in the title. No, don't touch your tags and titles. 
Don't touch your tags and titles right now. Absolutely do not. Uh, if you want to mess with your photos and descriptions, that's fine. Don't mess with your tags and titles right now. It's too late. Etsy's not going to notice the changes that you're making. If, if you go in, and especially if the items are selling and getting views and, you know, don't touch your bestsellers. Don't touch items that are selling. Don't touch items that are doing well. Uh, because there's a good chance that you could mess everything up by going and editing your tags and titles right now. So what Etsy is saying, they're not saying to go advertise your products by putting the word Christmas in the title. They're saying put ad money into the listings in your shop that already have the word Christmas in the title. They're not asking you to go edit those listings and put the word Christmas in the title. They mean go put money into the listings. Advertise the ones that have Christmas in their title. And if you click on the button, it'll show you all the listings in your shop that currently have the word Christmas in their title already. So we've had a bunch of alphas uh, say that they've had products that were doing really well and their views like dropped down to zero because they went and edited their listings. Oops. Oops. Um, it's too late to... I, I'm not going to say it's too late because I'm sure that there are fluke scenarios where, you know, you could pull it off. But it, it, the time to add Christmas in your title was like three weeks ago. Yeah, so no matter what Etsy says, unless they make a huge change, never go bulk edit listings to add something in that they say to add in. Be real careful about the way that they word things because this is entirely a contextual mistake. They, yeah. they It was just the context that was missing. It will never be okay to just start throwing a bunch of stuff into all of your listings at once. If you want to change, if you see something and you want to change like one listing to see if it starts performing better, like we always suggest do one listing, one small change at a time. Track with E-Rank. Track it with E-Rank, that's fine. But never under any circumstances go through and change all of your listings, even if it comes from Etsy because you can damage yourself. All right, guys, I see all of the hundreds of comments saying that you don't have the blue box. I'm not ignoring you. Just you don't have to tell me that you don't have the blue box anymore. We'll get, we will, we will get Somebody to. Somebody already answered. This. Oh, okay. Anyway. We will, we will get to it. Miranda. I know everybody. There's like, I don't see it. Everyone's mass pandemonium. We just, have the chat up. We We're see. just not done yet. It's okay. We, well, we changing see. photos affects search ranking. No. no. Photos, descriptions. Look, I, I want everyone to write this down. Write it somewhere. It's a new, it's a new person I haven't seen before. I know. I want everyone to write it down, though. Like, big on all of their notebooks. I want you to write it. If you've got like a, a, a dry erase board on your wall, I want you to write it real big on it. Tags, titles, attributes. Those are the things for your actual listing when you're editing a listing that Etsy's going to be looking at. Tags, titles, attributes. And in small, very, very small instances, uh, it's speculated that variations have an eatsy beatsy beatsy effect. Um, but that's only if your variations are very obscure. Like if you have a variation called floop de doop de skippity da and you're the only listing on Etsy that has floop de doop de skippity da and you have a variation called floop de doop de skippity da, then your listing might show up for floop de doop de skippity da. But if your variation is, you know, red. <laughs> How many other people are using red? Exactly. So it's not. It, it's better to cater your variations to your uh, to your shoppers who need to know what item that they're selecting. So lady lunk joke. Lady lunk. Lady luck junk just said I was just recommended this live. Hi from Texas. Hello. Yay! We're showing up in people's recommendeds. That's, that's dope. Awesome. Cool. Welcome. You might have to go back and watch the replay though, because uh, we've we covered some really good stuff. So. Do it after, though. Yeah, do it, do it, do it after. Do it after. you have any questions. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Uh, don't edit your tags and titles and add Christmas in the tags and titles now. I, I, I do not advise doing that. Um, you could really mess some stuff up, as we've seen. And I talked to Anthony Wolf about this, and he was just like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. And for those who don't know, Anthony Wolf is the CEO of E-Rank. So when Anthony goes... Uh, it usually means that it's pretty uh. all right 
Next thing on your blue checklist, if you have it, says bring the in-person shopping experience to life. Do it. it. Says add more videos to your listings to give holiday shoppers an up-close look at your products. This does not, to our knowledge, have any effect on ranking, but what it does is it makes your product more tangible. Adding listing videos is a fantastic way to give a additional view of your product. And it doesn't even need to be a video. Uh, the last video on my YouTube channel was called something tool, social media app, you need something. What was that video called? I don't know. Something and with I edit them all too. Something with Pixel Loop. My Pixel Loop video, just go to my channel. It's the one before this, before this one. You can use your Pixel Loop videos as your Etsy listing videos. Boom. Mark sat and edited all of mine from my last collection. They're so pretty. And then we move them into Google Drive because you can't upload them from your phone, unfortunately, mm. uh, to Etsy. So make them on Pixel Loop, which I teach you how to do in th the quick video that I have on my channel. Save them to Google Drive or Dropbox or however uh, you want to send them. Yeah, iCloud, whatever thing you use. Download them onto your computer and then upload them into your Etsy listings. And they're super fun and it, it you can take photos that you already have and just add a little bit of a little bit of flair. So Pixel Loop is free. I highly recommend getting their paid version. It's only what, twenty dollars a year? Was twenty dollars a year you can pay fifty five dollars to get it for life. Oh, I should have done that. It's it's so worth it. I'm not an affiliate, but for twenty bucks you get so much cool stuff. I love oh, it. Yeah. So I paid the twenty bucks just to see like what I had like what I could get and so I could make that tutorial for you guys so you could see all the stuff you get with the the paid version I love it, it it's probably my the most useful little social media creation tool ever so you can use those for your listing videos you can use them on TikTok you can use them on Twitter you can use them on uh, Facebook you can use them on Instagram you can use them in your stories you can use them on Snapchat you can use them literally anywhere they're just cool little motion photos um lots of fun so add listing videos that's gonna not help your rank, but it could help you make a sale because people are getting that fun little additional view of your product. And then the last item on the blue checklist is increase your budget to help reach more holiday shoppers. Uh, mine says your budget is running out. Adjust it to help expand your reach. Add $5. Um, basically, they want you to put more money into ads. And Be my, careful. Be careful. Um, people's ad budgets are... A lot of alphas have reported that their ad budgets are getting eaten up within 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and it could be bots. It could just be Etsy showing you for searches that aren't related to your products. Um, be careful. And if the ads aren't working for you, turn them off. Yeah, um, don't, don't waste your money. Set yourself a budget, and if it goes zip, 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 and it's gone, then just get rid of it. Yeah. So we'll get through the rest of our, our points and then we'll get into questions. Uh -huh. um, how's Etsy promoting the sale? What are they doing this year that's different from past years? Well, uh, first tab on Etsy.com is their holiday sales tab, which is pretty cool. If you haven't clicked on that, it says uh, start shopping sales and there's all different cool little sections. It's really neat and it looks really nice. So I'm um, kudos to Etsy for making it look so nice. Um, they've got TV and social media advertisements. So huge congratulations to Mel from Drop Dead Candles. She is one of our Handmade Alpha Academy students. Um, she got featured in Etsy's, one of their TV ads. Uh, I see it on Facebook all the time. She has this really cool like little palmistry uh, candle and it's only on there for like three seconds of video, <laughs> but she got featured. So. Congrats to her. You can find her shop. If you go to handmadealphaacademy.com, scroll all the way down to our Alpha Alumni Students of the Quarter. Uh, Drop Dead Candles is on there because I don't have her shop link on hand. But you can find her there. Go give her some love. She's got cool booby candles. Booby candles. <laughs> booby candles. So she makes really cool stuff. No, uh, not just boobies. She's got men now, too. So Can I help you, child? I said booby candles and the child's down here. Oh. <laughs> All right, plug it in. She's doing homeschooling. And her laptop died. All right, so uh, other ways that 
Etsy's advertising is that the app users get that little, you know, that early access, that exclusivity. So I think that that's a pretty cool uh, scarcity tactic that they're using. They're giving app users that early access on uh, December 23rd. So lots of fun there. All right. So controversy. Let's get into the things that uh, people are upset about with this cyber sale. <laughs> Poopies are okay. They're, I like them. They're just okay. I think they're great. I th they feed babies. They make shirts look better. They're great. Or worse, if it's got a design on it. Well, I just talked about that today. I was like, man, I have a shirt. I have a shirt with a picture of a cat, but I can't wear it because it makes the eyes look like <laughs> up. it's got like pop eyes or something. Anyway, off that topic, we can't get on the topic of boobs because, you know. I remember it, what it, happened like two years ago when we first started like streaming. Yeah, Nakey Cat. Nakey Cat. Yeah. Where is Nakey Cat? I miss her. Um, all right, so the controversy. Many sellers are upset because they've already added the free shipping guarantee, and they basically have just said that I can't swing both. I can't do the free shipping guarantee and do a 20% off discount. Um, so a lot of sellers are upset. And uh, what does it say? Etsy told Wall Street analysts on October 30th that sellers were absorbing more of the free shipping cost than its pre-launch testing indicated but we don't know what Etsy's planning to do about it, if anything. So basically, uh, when Etsy first decided to do the free shipping guarantee for uh, $35 or more, they did a bunch of test groups, and what they had hoped was that sellers would put their uh, shipping cost onto the price of their products. That's that's what they wanted. So it wasn't a free shipping guarantee. It's price included, as Pam Duffy always points out. There's no free shipping. It's not free shipping. It's price included or shipping included and that's how they should have advertised it but um basically they're finding now that sellers aren't applying 100 percent of the shipping cost to their products they're absorbing a little bit of those shipping costs themselves uh, more so than etsy was predicting so i'm hoping that this is a wake-up call to etsy that you know maybe this wasn't such a great idea um, but as we say, if you can't offer free shipping, don't do it because it's not having from everything that we've seen, despite what Etsy said in the spring, it's not having an effect on search ranking. Um, if, like I said, if you go to Etsy.com and you type any product into the search bar, especially like a, a very competitive keyword, like silver necklace, not all the products on the front page ship free. So that tells us that it's not as much of a ranking factor as we thought, unless the person is specifically filtering by free shipping, which most shoppers don't. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it. Honestly, don't don't freak out about it. Pick if if you need to pick free shipping as your sale, then advertise that for Black Friday. Uh, if you don't offer free shipping, then just do your your Black Friday sale or your double dip. It, it doesn't matter. You need to do what's best for your business. Um, so add. Uh, Final notes here from Mark and I. These advertising pitches from Etsy, they do a different type of sale pretty much every season. These are just suggestions. They're not trying to bully you or push you into doing this. Um, you can do it if you want to. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever you want. Right. You'll be <clears throat> successful based on the work that you put into your shop and building your own funnels and things. And I know that it... it it sucks that sometimes, you know, like for example, with this one, these sellers are going to get their own curated section, which is nice, but that doesn't mean that shoppers are only going to look in a curated section. They're going to be looking on Etsy, searching in the search bar for the products that they want. They're still going to type specific items into that search bar. They're still going to be searching for, you know, silver gemstone necklace. And if, if they want a very specific type of product, they're going to type that into the search bar. If they're just browsing, maybe they're going to look at that that curated section, but we're going to have just as many shoppers searching for very specific types of products. So I wouldn't worry too much about it if you can't pull it off. Um, and you can still be successful, even if you don't host a Black Friday sale. You have to consider, like I said, everybody's going to be shopping online this season. Everybody's going to be online. States are shutting down. Countries are shutting down. Bubbers, will you stop yelling? Oh, he's messing with the tree. That's what he's doing. He's eating the Christmas tree. He does that every year. He yells at it. That's what you guys are hearing. He hates the tree. 
on, but anyway, um, there's going to be more traffic on Etsy. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm shopping online uh, on Black Friday, I'm if I see something I want, I'm sticking it in my cart. And even if there's no sale on it, I'm just in the shopping mood. That is the day that I do my shopping, whether something's on sale or not. So you can still be successful even if you don't run a Black Friday sale. Um, now, here there is a little bit of truth behind Etsy's 20% off sale. There's a method behind their madness. I know a lot of sellers are saying that 20% off is too steep for them, but shoppers tend to ignore discounts that are any lower than, that are, wait, 10% or lower. So that, I can't remember what psychology book I read. I wish I remember what book I read. In fact, I've read it in several psychology books. I, I think Priceology might have been one of them. I can't remember offhand. But anyway, there is a method behind it. 10% psychologically, unless it is a very, very large product, customers tend to not really pay a lot of mind to anything 10% or lower. So mm -hmm. Etsy's trying to optimize for the best possible sale price that isn't too outrageous that, you know, no sellers could offer it. So 20% felt like a nice cozy place for Etsy to nestle that sale. Um, but for you guys... Only offer a sale amount that you're comfortable with if you want to hold a sale. If you can only do 10%, that's fine. Do 10%. Do what you're most comfortable with. Just know that 10% and lower isn't ideal. Uh, if you can get it just a little bit higher, even 15%, you'll probably do just a little bit better. But Yeah, again, it, that kind of depends on your product, too. If you're, exactly. if you're selling like a thousand... Coffee tables. Uh, yeah, a thousand dollar plus products, you can probably get away with 10% because that's a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, lastly, guys, promote on social media. Promote on social media so that you don't have to rely on Etsy traffic alone. You guys should be building funnels. This is why I always say email list, social media presence, Facebook group. Because around this time every year, people come to me and they say, I, I want to do a double dip. I want to do a sale, but I don't know how to advertise it. I don't know who to advertise it to. I don't have a following. You need to be building your own funnels because... I, I don't care about any of this. I don't care about Etsy site-wide sale. I don't care about uh, being found in search right now. I don't care about having all the best keywords in my listings because I don't need to. Because I know that on Thursday night, Thanksgiving night, when I start my Black Friday sale, all I have to do is send one email. My key club is waiting for it. I'm going to send one email out with a discount code for their double dip. And I'm going to sell out of almost everything. And it happens every single year because I have a funnel and it's full of people who are ready to buy. Now, unfortunately, for those of you who are new um, and for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, for those of you who have only been following us for a little while, or for those of you who have new Etsy shops, you're probably not going to be able to build a funnel in the next week. I, I know that that sucks. And I'm not saying that you won't be successful there's still a lot of opportunity. You can post in the virtual craft fair that's linked down below. There's tons of other Facebook groups for Etsy promoting. Uh, you can run uh, ads if you need to. You could run a Facebook <laughs> ad. <laughs> what do you do? But you're probably not going to be able to build a, a big, sturdy funnel. Um, but, guys, that's kind of what Handmade Alpha Academy is all about. That will be opening December 1st. And it's closing on, <coughs> excuse me, it's closing on December 10th. <laughs> Sorry, we're sick. Um, it's closing for enrollment on December 10th. And once you're in, you're in for life. And the whole foundation of yes. Handmade Alpha Academy, we do teach you SEO. We give you E-Rank Pro. Uh, we teach you a special formula that I personally came up with for SEO. So you know exactly what to do. Um, but primarily, we teach you how to direct your own traffic and build a social media presence and build an email list so that you can direct traffic directly to your shop when you need to, uh, whether that be Black Friday or if your car breaks down and you need to do a hefty repair and you don't have the money in your bank account, you can send out one email, make the money you need, and do what you need to do. So, Bubber's over there screaming at the Christmas tree. Yep, he sure is. All right, guys. That is all I have for Etsy's Cyber Week sale. So, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, Mr. Give, Moore, you take... That. Hold on. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> can we show them our shirts? No. Yeah, people already saw them. They were commenting on it. You like my doge? So turkey. I don't think he knows about second breakfast. <laughs> Thanksgiving. I'm second not, Thanksgiving. I, I, can't, I can't do that accent with that long of a word. <laughs> <laughs>
it'll end up coming up sounding Irish. I, so we were we were supposed to have a Thanksgiving dinner with just our parents. Oh God. Yes, or tomorrow. And we were going to do it all Lord of the Rings themed food. And he, I got him that shirt. And then I have one in the same color that says one mom to rule them all in like the Lord of the Rings font. But we're sick and we're... Everyone's sick. Everyone. My, parent, my parents got sick and that got us sick and then... So we're not doing Thanksgiving with our family because we don't want to risk getting anybody sick. They got us sick. But... So what happens when you're close to somebody who's sick without a mask on, you get sick. Yep. Wear your mask. So, we don't know if we have COVID. We're just sick. We don't know what we're sick with, but we're sick. So I don't I don't think that's what we have. There's, no, there's, also, have. there's also a cold going around that's really bad, too. So, But Mark and I are going to be having our Thanksgiving tomorrow. That way mm-hmm. we can... Uh, I got to shop right when I'm off this stream. And don't worry. I'm sick. I'm not going anywhere. Kroger's has drop-off and pick-up. So, yep. I'm going to be rolling up. They'll open my trunk and throw the food in. Keep it safe. Stay away from people if you're sick. Be be nice. That was all the way from the beginning of the stream. Yeah, well, yeah, because we haven't answered questions since all the way in the beginning of the stream. Hoping to have a bigger audience next year. Good morning. Can you uh, help explain how? Okay, we already answered. Yeah, that. so we... that's that's where we're at. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, you know what? You've been over here. I haven't had the mouse, so leave me alone. You already read that one too. Shh. He'll get it. He'll get it, guys. Don't worry. Do you guys like... I got... Do you guys like my little white ceramic Christmas tree? My grandma used to have one of the, the old school vintage ceramic Christmas trees. Um, and I remember being a little girl. And all the little light bulbs were loose. And I used to pull them out and rearrange them. It used to make her so mad. But now I have my own. And mine are super glued on. So I can't sit and rearrange them. Terpy said, I only ship domestic, but I have noticed it only occurs when a customer orders book sets, which already ship free on my end. It won't make the individual book ship free, even though they hit $35. Hmm. That's Weird. interesting. I would, uh, If I were you, I would contact Etsy. Ask them. If you guys ever have a question, ask Etsy. Because a lot of the times, uh, your questions just aren't something that, that we have any insight <coughs> into, but Etsy definitely would, so... Can I publish a giveaway on the Handmade Alpha yeah, Craft Fair? Yeah. Absolutely. Go right on ahead. If you guys want to build your email list from the Craft Fair, go right on ahead. Um, we had a couple. Man, which Alpha did a soap giveaway? One of our Alphas did a soap giveaway, and there are like 200-something comments on it for people entering to win the soap. So the giveaways are doing really well. Somebody said, chat keeps deleting my question. We aren't deleting anything, so you must be using a dirty word or something. <laughs> Yeah, no links. No links to yeah, anything Yeah, you either. can't post links in here at all. Yeah. I started my Black Friday discounts a couple days before, or should I start my Black Friday discounts a couple days before? Hi from Spain. Sure. Absolutely. You can if you want to. I, I would say that keeping it to a, a couple days, uh, keep it short, would be your best bet. I like to do mine on Thanksgiving night Eastern time. So if you're in Spain, I, I don't know what the time conversion on that, but around 6 p.m. Eastern is when I start mine on Thanksgiving night. Um, I do that, like I said, I've said this several several streams now. Everybody's eating their dinner around 6, uh, and they're sitting on the couch at their family's house, or hopefully at home, um, and they're sitting on their phones. They're, they've already eaten, and Dad's in his recliner snoring. And, yeah, so it's, a, it's a, always been a really great time for me to release my sale is Thanksgiving night. Etsy, if, uh, free shipping is only eligible for U.S. shoppers, I believe. Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Feel free to let us know. I, I could be wrong. I don't. I live in the U.S., so uh, I don't know. Uh, I offer free shipping at thirty-five dollars. I want to run a sale, but can't do free shipping and a sale. Would it hurt me to remove the free shipping, or if I change free shipping at a higher amount? I think that it would only hurt you if you've got repeat buyers who are used to you having free shipping and then they come and they're like, oh, I've got to pay shipping. Uh, if you're not expecting like a bunch of repeat buyers and you're trying to pull in new buyers, you could probably do that, I would say. How do I check if I've already opted for it? Um, I believe that you could go into your sales uh, stats within your marketing tab 
on the left navigation of your shop manager and that sale should be labeled as cyber sale 2020 so if you've opted in you should have one in there that says cyber sale 2020 uh -huh. is that a shiba doge it is i've got amy's around here somewhere i have a shiba inu for those who don't know i know amber knows because she drew my shiba which i always have conveniently <coughs> right here this is the card though because amy was sick i'm so used to amazon i don't like to pay for free or to pay for shipping and don't buy without it so i offer it on all my products Let's see can't read that comment Amber, because you unintentionally threw a sl uh, racist slang term. <laughs> we'll just say Beaner. Bean Banner. Is that a slang term over there? Probably not. We won't get into that. Uh, I have a question. Is there a separate sign up for the site wide Etsy Black Friday and Cyber Sale, or do I need to initiate this like a regular sale? Okay, so. We've got that one, but then we have a lot of people saying that they don't have the blue box. I don't have the blue box. And then Miranda came in here and said you, on the uh, right of the list, you can X out things you've already done and then more things show up. Okay. So you need to you need to start filling out the list as you go and, and you it don't, will unlock more options. And you don't have to do them. You just <clears> click, <throat> check them off. If you check them off, they'll disappear and apparently new things will pop up. I didn't know that. Um, for those of you who don't have the blue box, man, maybe. Yeah, if you, if you don't have it at all, maybe get with Etsy. <clears throat> po let's, maybe we can troubleshoot in the Handmade Alpha Facebook community. If you don't have the blue box, let's start a thread in the Handmade Alpha Facebook community that is all about not having the blue box and maybe if they made a sale and they just labeled it as cyber sale 2020 it will i doubt it i don't know i doubt it because i don't know why some people would have <clears throat> it and some people don't maybe it's not valid in some countries maybe i don't know we'll anyway. see make a make a post about it in the group and we'll try to look more into it i don't have it mine doesn't say it all right, so if you have the box but it just doesn't say anything about the cyber sale start checking off items in the box and see if it pops up um, and if you don't have the blue box at all, uh, does not bring it up. The, does not bring up the sale if you previously X'd it off. Okay. So maybe did, should they go to the link? Maybe this one. Etsy.com/cyber. That'll just direct them to the shopping section where they can shop. Maybe just throw Etsy Cyber Sale into Google. I don't know, man. If you've already X'd it off, I don't know what to tell you. Like I said, post in the Handmade yeah. Alpha Facebook community, and we'll try to troubleshoot <clears throat> later. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try to get to that. Boop. Uh, excited for Black Friday if I make a sale on Etsy Cyber Week sale, but only do a few days rather than the whole week with a twenty percent off. Will I still show up under Etsy Sale tab? If you take it off, probably not. Well, if you, I, I would say that if like you started, because you have to have it applied by the twenty second. Mm -hmm. So you mean just end it early? Um. I, I don't imagine if they end it, they're still going to show up in the sale tab. I think Etsy's probably smart enough to figure that out. Yeah, I'm sure you would be taken off. Like, if you wanted to just run it, you know. You would show up for it for as long as you're running the sale, I would assume. If you opt out early, then you get removed from the sale tab early. That was the only checklist item I remember, but I clicked the X on it and wasn't going to do that. Yeah, if you X'd it out, I don't know, really know what to tell you. I don't have the blue box. We'll, we'll, we'll troubleshoot it later. Yeah. Open your shops on a computer, not through the app. Yeah, that for, for pretty much anything, that's the first bit see. of advice I would offer. I know a lot of people are opening it on computer, but if you're not seeing something and you're on mobile, try it on, on your computer first. Not on a tablet either, because that's also considered mobile in okay. most cases. Let me see if we have... No, you don't have anything <clears throat> in the Etsy app. About running. Uh, can we tell them they can sign up for it on our list to get the double dip option, or does that only work for a current list? Can we tell them they can sign up for our list to get the double dip option, or does that only work for a current list? I don't understand what you're asking. If you already, so are you asking like if you already have a VIP discount set up for your email mm -hmm. list, they can use that for the double dip? 
or do you need to make a separate list for it? Is that what you're asking? They can, they can just use, if you already offer like a VIP discount, they can use that for their double dip. That's what I do. Um, I, I let them use their key club coupon code and they can just stack that on top of my Etsy on sale sale. If you guys are confused about double dipping, we've got tons of double dip videos and we have a double dip uh, Friday bean episode. So you can look for those as well. Uh, if we offer 20% plus off <clears throat> on a few items, would that help bring people to my shop even if I offer less on others? I price some of my items that 20% off would be too much. I think that you have to have all of your items 20% off to do the whole sale. For, the, for this sale. Feel free to let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I believe that your whole shop has to be 20% off to do this particular sale. If yeah. I'm wrong, somebody correct me in the comments. But apart from that, yes, you can do 20% off on some items and not on others. Yeah, you just might not be participating in the sale. Yeah. But like I said, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Somebody says, is it under sales and coupons? Uh, no, it yeah. was on. It was directly from when you click your Etsy shop manager and you scroll down a little bit from your shop dashboard. It should be right from your primary shop dashboard page. Sounds like the people on Etsy need to find someone who knows how to write and actually convey messages. Oh, that saying. was that was the about not that's, changing your titles. That's that's most like big businesses. Once they get so big, they start having trouble. Are Etsy ads working again? I know for a while that they weren't. We don't they, know. We don't know. Are they working? They're working. They're just working. Yeah, they, they were always working. It's just bots. <laughs> bots in certain industries were ad, sucking up the ad budget. Yeah, ad budgets were getting <laughs> completely eaten up within a few days. Some sellers are still experiencing it. Uh, some sellers are not. But Will changing photos affect search trenching? No. Nope. I will listen to Coach Starla before I listen to Etsy on some things. On some things, Etsy, yeah. Etsy knows their own platform. It's just if some if if it seems like something is too good to be true, like putting Christmas in your titles, they're probably just wording something incorrectly. Yeah, and I thought, and guys, if you thought that that's what they meant, I thought that too. I yeah, thought we were both very upset that they posted that because we both knew that that was bullcrap. <laughs> and then I click I clicked on it, and then I realized what they were actually like meaning to say. So. It's just bad wording. Uh, I think you can still find the holiday tips through the seller handbook, seasonal tips. The yeah, guide to the holiday. you yeah. can still find, uh, if you Google Etsy's Ultimate Guide to Holiday, you can find that. It's just not the same list that we're talking about today. Their Ultimate <clears throat> Guide to Holiday is still up. I made the Etsy Cyber Week sale thing. Can I make a second sale myself only Black Friday with a higher discount? So they do want to do a sale on Black Friday for a higher discount. Yeah, I mean, I. which sale would Etsy do? They would always, they'll always do the, the sale that gets applied will always be the highest discount. I don't know what's going to happen if you try to stack a discount on top of another discount through Etsy. They, the sales won't stack. Uh, whatever discount you're offering, Etsy will always favor the larger discount at checkout. Um, but I have a, I assume that you would have to cancel your your Cyber Week sale through Etsy to create another sale. Or, you know, I'm not sure. That's a really obscure increasing your sale percentage for one day. And then I don't know if you can manually go in and edit that from an existing sale or if you would have to create a new sale, which might you probably have to create a new sale. Which might bump you out of the cyber sale. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure. Um, Etsy hasn't been super clear yeah. on the details with this sale. Even talking the full sales event will kick off on November 25th. We don't we don't know what the hell they mean by that. Yeah, we think that that's just when the tab will show up. Yeah. <laughs> Or if you have Mac, you can have an AirDrop. Yeah, AirDrop it right out your window. Boom. Sorry, I don't, I don't like, I don't like Apple. Yeah. If you're new here, throw, throw your phone out the window. Wow. Because Apple is, they're buttheads. They're buttheads to their customers, and we're sorry to all you Apple customers. Uh, I just noticed Klarna on some shops. Apparently, this is so a customer can pay for your products and installments. Would you recommend using Klarna? Klarna, you get paid. Yes. You, as the seller, you get paid. Um, Klarna, I believe you automatically are opted in to accept payments for, uh, via Klarna. Are you sure? 
I think so. I don't think that you select whether you accept Klarna. I think all shops, because either way, you get paid immediately. It, yeah, because it's a platform side thing. <sighs> I don't think we opt into that. I think I all yeah, unfortunately, it is. see, I don't, I don't particularly like credit systems. If if we're wrong and you have the option to opt in, I that's another layer of failure that can lead to bad reviews, and I don't like the idea of it. People getting mad that they they missed a payment and they got charged can end up stupid. People end up commenting it or leaving it as a review for your shop even Etsy would remove it it might take a little bit of time though yeah but I'm sure Etsy would remove it if you got a bad review based on you know if you're automatically opted in we're sorry that's just and that's just my opinion on chat things it's very rare that it happens but stupid people is as stupid people does my freaking blue thing got erased okay I you're think I think we're getting close Okay, yeah, there we are. Okay. I sell vintage items, and I know touching tags uh, takes forever to rank, but since my items only sell once, should I start updating tags for spring, summer tags after Christmas? Sure. Yeah, why not? Um, if, you, if those terms are being searched, and um, yeah, I, I would make sure that you're looking at erank.com and looking at the actual trend graphs to see what time of year those keywords are actually going to start spiking. Um, that way you can get your keywords, your seasonal keywords in at least three months early. Uh, that's what I would do. When someone orders as a guest and they can't leave a review, do you change the swipe files in any way to not be asking them to leave reviews? Do you ask for anything else instead? No, you can just, uh, not send, uh, obviously you won't send the very last one, which is the review message. Um... I would just send, edit out the part about how to leave a review because they can't leave a review. So just thank them for their purchase. The uh, second item in the blue box reads, delight your customers by offering gift wrap. That's you. <laughs> Everybody's got different items in their blue boxes. That's weird. Well, check off Maybe the... Maybe they're doing some sort of social experiment. Check off some of the items and see if your, your mm -hmm. Etsy sale one pops up. And then maybe try to refresh after you check items off. Mine says 10. When you click it, it just takes you to the front page of Etsy with no info. Had no idea it was about ads. Yes, I raised mine, and they immediately said, raise it more. It's like that Star Wars meme. More! <laughs> I started ads for the first time. I noticed it was eating the money. I switched with the items marketing for, and I noticed the ads don't go through so much money. Are you able to set demographics with Etsy ads? No? They said that they they changed who they were marketing for. What did you do? Yeah, what did you actually do to what do, you do mean, that? What do you mean items it's marketing for? Oh, you switched. they switched the items that they were advertising. Ah, they should really add marketing demographics like what Facebook has. Because if you could exclude, like, India, Pakistan, Russia, and China from your marketing, that would get rid of, like, 90% of the bots. That's true. And that's not anything against those countries. That's just That's just a bot. fact of where most bots come yeah. from. That's... They, those countries don't have particular laws against people doing things like that. Yeah. And for, that's why most of your spam calls come from Pakistan, India, Russia, and China. It's because they don't have any laws against doing that. So, Or they don't enforce the laws. Uh, doesn't Etsy make you subscribe to ads if you make over a certain amount of money on sales? $10,000 in a year. Yep, over $10,000. In four quarters. Sorry, not in a year. It's a little different. That's awesome. Congrats. I don't know what... Oh, uh, from Mel's, her candle, she does... Oh, oh, yeah, that's she, right. We're just now to that. Holy crap. <laughs> she's got super... She's got super cute... She's got chubby girl candles, she's got skinny girl candles, and she's got super buff dude candles. So, she said that she's gonna eventually try to do chubby dude candles, too, but... Don't do chubby dude candles. Chubby dude can Dad bod candles. Dad, Dad bod candles. Everybody thinks they want a dad bod till the dude with muscles comes up. Anyway. You got yeah. a dad bod. No, I don't. You got a dad bod. He's a dad. She's trying to... It's attractive. Get into that. <laughs> Boogies are okay. Natural for kids, I mean. Natural for kids. Yeah. I mean, they, they serve a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna like that. 
Uh, it forces you in. Etsy sees you're making more money, and they want some of it. Yeah, I oh, mean, yeah. wouldn't you? That's, Etsy's got to make money, too. They're a business. More! Uh, more! They just want it all. Lots of money. Uh, I got some great exposure recently when North Wales Tourism chose one of my photographs for their 2021 <laughs> calendar, so I'm pleased. Cool. Dope. Uh, I like Mark second thing. Okay. I was annoyed at first when I was forced to use off-site ads, but I raised my prices slightly and get way more sales through off-site than Etsy yeah. ads. Good. Cool. It doesn't work for everybody, but we have had several people say that the off-site ads do them some good. So quite a few people saying that most of their sales come from off-site ads now that they're doing them. So if it, work, if it works for you, it works for you. Good. I added shipping on my lower price items. It feels kind of dirty, though, when people buy multiples and end up paying a shipping a bunch of times. You can always refund that. Yeah, if you want to refund the shipping, you can. I know that sucks. Whoop! I, uh... I offer free shipping for the, uh, the U.S. only, because I can't afford to do it for domestic... Will you guys? Or I mean for international. Will you guys be on after Thanksgiving on Friday? I don't know. We haven't really decided yet. If we're gonna stream on Black Friday, would any of you actually watch? Because I mean, Black Friday is a busy day. A lot of people stay up all night to it's, catch the sales starting on Friday morning. So it's a busy day for us too because yeah. we have Etsy orders. Yeah, too. we have Etsy orders too. We don't know. Look out for emails. We'll, we'll, her and I will talk off camera. I don't like making promises on camera if we can't, if we can't fulfill it. So yeah, cause keep we, an eye out on your emails. We don't know what Thanksgiving Day is going to look like for us, so we don't know if we're still going to be sick. <laughs> yeah, exactly, or if we're going to be more sick. So we'll let yes. you guys know a little bit ahead of time once we've had more time to powwow about it. Uh, I almost canceled my Etsy ads, but I wanted to leave it for 30 days like they suggest. I did tweak what it was advertising, and that seemed to help a little with the budget being A through. Yeah, tweak, tweak, tweak. Our little shop did not jump on the free shipping bandwagon, and we're doing very well. Yeah, see? There you go. Just wanted to say hello. Hello from Greece. Thank you hello. for the videos. They're extremely helpful. I hope to visit Greece someday. Uh... uh boop, 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 boop. Do we know free shipping guarantee has an effect on sales? Nope. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure... We literally just read three comments of people that said that they didn't need free shipping. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure that it's a great bonus for a shopper if they see that you have free shipping. Um, I don't think that it's going to be a, a, an insane factor unless your shipping price is very expensive. If your shipping's like $50, it might be a factor. Yeah, so that's that's one thing. Paid, paid shipping is not a deal breaker for me as a buyer. Me so it, honestly, it's going to depend on the product. There are so many different factors that go into that. Like, I'll see a lot of products that are, say, $100, and they're asking, like, $50 shipping for those products. And that that seems like abuse coming from a customer point of view. Um, most people would just absorb that cost into their products, offer free shipping, and increase the product by a couple dollars in order to make up for whatever it's shipping. Um, as long as you're not one of those guys that's a total jerk that's trying to profit off of their shipping. Yeah. That just... just don't charge shipping for what it actually costs you and then if you want to add like a quarter for your time driving to the post office fine but don't be one of those people that charges like the price of the product or half of the price of the product in order to ship the dang thing uh the etsy ad so far brought me one sale out of the nine sales i had since i begun using them and because of that, I don't personally see a use for the ads and will most likely turn them off after the 30 days. Yeah, yeah look, at, look at what the actual, like, how much you spent versus how much you lost in the ads. If In the end, if the money coming in is still more than what you spent on the ads, you made a profit. So I would, I would let it go for the full 30 days and see what the profit yeah. margin is. Here's the thing. The, it, it, the best time to have your ads on, if you're going to have them on, is during the holidays. Um, so if you see good results during the holidays, I mean, why, why not have them on? If you're going to turn them off, that's fine. Turn them off after the holidays, unless it's actually like l costing you money and you're losing money. Mm -hmm. Um, holidays is the, I would say the best time to, you know, experiment with your ads. Uh, it allows me to, cho um, to choose a different percent. 
Pauline said, I'm using Etsy Cyber Sale 2020 coupon code, but set the dates to Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Unfortunately, you're probably not going to be in the Cyber Sale then because nope. I think you have to be in from the, uh, the, from 20- the start date. 22nd to December 2nd. You probably won't be in their curated section. Nope. But you can still be found in search naturally, and people will you know, still be able to take advantage of the sale. Uh, I set up the Etsy on sale for the double dip, so this won't qualify for the Etsy sale. Nope. No, it's it's using their actual system to set up the sale. It, like, I don't even think actually just making a sale and calling it Cyber Sale 2020 will do it. I think you have to do it through the sign up thing that pops up yeah. on the website. It's one or the other. If you do double dip, is its own separate thing that will be completely separate from Etsy site wide. We did a Friday Bean episode on this a couple weeks ago where we talked about. Um, uh, I think it's called like Black Friday Money Maker. There's a picture of a cookie getting dipped into a coffee mug. I know that's the thumbnail. Um, um, we talk about the difference between those and who should run what type of sale. But um, Maki's. Oh, you've got you've got an audience though. You're an HAA. You've got an email list, so you should be good to do a double dip. Um, if you need to back out, now would be the time to back out. But if you've got an audience, which I'm pretty sure you do because you've got a Facebook group and everything, you, the double dip might be the best way to go for you. So for those of you who don't have the box popping up anymore because you clicked on the X, I just thought of a couple things you can try. So most of that stuff is cookie-based. So for one, try a different browser that you don't use on whatever device that you're on because your cookies most likely won't cross. Some of them do, but they shouldn't cross. Pull up your Etsy shop on a different browser. Once that's up, you might get the pop-up again. If that doesn't work, go into the browser you normally use and clear your cache and cookies. Clear everything except for like autofill form data and stuff like that. That w- it's, It will log you out of everything that you're logged into and you'll have to log in, so just keep that in mind, but that will clear your cookies. Close the browser, restart your computer, and when it pops back up, there's a chance that it'll, if it's cookie-based, that it will pop back up. It'll think that you haven't seen it yet because it hasn't been saved to your device. Or try it on a different computer entirely if you have that capability. Not on mobile because we've already confirmed that it doesn't show up on, on mobile. We're not promising that that'll work. No, but that's if, if it is cookie-based, it will work. If it's not cookie-based, then it won't work. One person should go test it and let us know. Yeah. That hasn't opted in and isn't getting the box. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe don't test it during the stream because it'll log them out of YouTube and everything. Um, we'll wait here. I, I used to look for free shipping, but now as a seller, I get it's meaningless. Yeah. It's always going to be it's, it's a price. gimmick. It's it's a gimmick, just like the majority of things that you do with products, offering freebies and all these other things. They're gimmicks. Yes. Yeah. They're they're things that entice people to sell. Psychological triggers. Handmade Alpha Academy is all about the psychological triggers and how they work and how they affect the human brain and how you can use them ethically. It's uh, like, it's like non-negative exploitation is essentially what it is. It's manipulation of the mind, which yeah. manipulation is a negative term, but in terms of marketing, that is what marketing is. Uh, when yeah. some, when there's a big red sales sticker on something, that's because the color red triggers action, the mm-hmm. action response in it's, people. It's, it's a form of exploitation, but there are ways to do it without being negative right. about it, just like how we sell HAA. There are a lot of really negative, crappy ways to sell a course, and there are a lot of really positive ways to sell a course, and we try to stay 100% on the positive side and not be exploitive. Here's the thing, you know, when it comes to not being you, and this goes, this is like my big, here's my my big marketing advice of 2020. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll keep talking, you guys can hear me as a robot. Um, here's my big marketing advice of 2020. It's harder to keep up of a personality that isn't yours. It's harder to keep up with a voice, a brand voice that isn't yours. It's harder to to keep a healthy mindset when you're trying to be anyone but yourself. We know, we know that the feedback is bad. Sounds off. It's recording software completely frozen. No, mm. still, there's still sound. I just can't interact with robotic sound. I can't interact with Wirecast at all. Aww. Give it a few minutes. Can't listen. Bad on the ears. 
Oh my God, fan voice, sound problem, please correct. We're trying. Mute the mic and stop talking. All right, I'm going to mute us for a minute. How is it? Is it better? Do whatever you did last week to fix it. It fixed it last week. That's it. That what we did nothing last week, actually. It fixes itself sometimes. All right. It's YouTube. It, it for some reason YouTube in particular hates our blue microphone, and every other YouTuber uses. And this is our second one. Yeah. Is it better now? Can you hear us? Let us know if that's better. Great. Great. Better. Better. Cool. All right. We sound better. Good. We look better. Okay. All right. And if you guys don't oh, don't crap. don't demand us to fix our mic if our mic is ever bad, that just let us know. Hey, just, your audio sounds like crap. Yeah. Don't, we're people. Please treat us like we people. Have, we have feelings. We do have feelings. I don't have a lot of them, but we do have some. <laughs> anyway, plus we're sick, so please be patient. Anyway, what I was saying was that it, it's hard to maintain that character that you create that you think everyone wants you to be. Um, and I've been that person. If you go way back to some of my very first videos on YouTube, you'll see it. You'll see that I am just, hi guys. Ah, la, 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 la. Like I, I'm not myself. I was being who I thought that, you know, you guys would want me to be. And I was very, you know, I, I get excited. I'm peppy. I'm goofy. You can ask him. Over the last few weeks, I have just been running around the house singing Christmas songs with incorrect lyrics. I, I'm a goofball. Um, but I'm not going to fake when I'm not, you know, I'm not going to fake being something that I'm not. Uh, and I know some people don't like that, but it's exhausting. It's exhausting to be anybody other than yourself. So when it comes to using a brand voice that isn't your own, because you think that that's what you should be doing. Um, and, I, and I know that when you first start a business, it's kind of hard because you don't know what that brand voice should be. Um, my biggest piece of advice is to just understand that anything that isn't you is going to be like another weight on your back that you have to carry. And some people might not like you, but as long as you're staying positive, um, the right people will like you. So when it comes to, like like I said, us marketing HAA, we try it different every time. Every time we market HAA, which we only do twice a year because I hate doing it, uh, we try it a little bit different every time. Sometimes we are super goofy and we make silly marketing. Sometimes we do serious marketing. Uh, this time we're going down the path of a little bit more serious marketing. But we do it to experiment and to see what works because ultimately when we see what works, we can share it with you guys and we can share that, you know, as more marketing tips because we learn as well. So chat is like, cut off. oh, because it's in top, top chat. chat. All right. Um, well, unfortunately, I can't see the whole chat. So we just lost like most of your questions, most of the questions. Give me a sec. That's okay. God, YouTube is getting on my nerves today. They're bad today, aren't they? All right. Well, yeah. If you guys I can have only see up to Angela Moan's question. Fan, vo fan voice. Um, all right. So if you guys have uh, some last minute questions, uh, we'll stay on for about 15 more minutes. Go ahead and get those into the chat now. Uh, if you asked a question previously, we did not ignore you. YouTube uh, just. YouTube literally just friggin' deleted it. So. I came back and it was it was still in top chat. I want live chat. Stop doing that, YouTube. Okay, All right. there we go. The TV does the same sound issue when the connection is bad. Yeah, so YouTube's connection, if you haven't been here since the beginning, it is crap today. And I have this prioritized, so... Could just be a lot of streamers on because it's a Friday. Yeah, you're right. Could be a server issue. 
Yeah, but it's Google servers. Oh, well, yeah. Google <laughs> That's true. Add a little helium and it would be hysterical. We welcome you to Munchkin Land. La, 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 la. And there goes monetization. Not, it, I don't think that that would get flagged. It, I sang it so badly. Yeah, you're so lucky to have Techie. You whistled a tune and oh, yeah. hummed a tune and got us demonetized. I did. I hummed Let It Go. Like 30 seconds of it very badly. Not even. It was like 10 seconds of it very badly. Uh, all right. Okay, I don't have uh, either cyber message on my dashboard, but I actually found an email from Etsy sellers in my email, and I was able to participate through okay. their email. So and somebody had somebody had posted that they they had the email. But. Yeah. So, and if you guys are using Gmail, uh, look in your promotions folder, look in your spam, uh, search Etsy cyber sale in your actual email search bar, and see if you can find it that way because you should have gotten an email about it. Uh, switching the product. For, oh, this person's asked this question like 15 times. Switching the product for ads does affect? No. I mean, switching the product for ads? It. I mean, to the extent that you're advertising a different product, okay. de it depends um, on what you're asking if it affects. Don't, don't post that question again, please. Because yeah. you've asked it like 10 times. I'm going to ban you the next time it comes in. We love you, but don't ask the same question over and over yeah, again. We'll, we will see we'll, it. We'll get to it. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm sick. I'm not putting up with stuff today. <laughs> don't 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 push me. I don't feel Mar good. Mark is grumpy. See now, th this is the problem. Now I got to go and actually find new questions. <laughs> the same damn question. Uh, just go to the shop manager icon, click on it. It's right there in your dashboard. Yeah, for some people. For some people, it's not it's there not, for everybody. Yeah. I don't think they were demanding. Just trying to get you to notice. I know. We're setting up our tree tomorrow. Good. I see again. <laughs> So that's what I'm thinking, y'all. Uh, you seem pretty cool to me. I am. So, <laughs> uh, being your self advice, I hear okay. it all the time. But what if your personality isn't the most uh, marketable? My personality is a bit more snarky and sarcastic, but I try to be friendly. Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets more hate on YouTube than than I can personally tolerate. I it really gets to me mentally, but he doesn't care. Um, no, I don't, I don't care. You can I, think of whatever you want about me. I've got a channel that I really enjoy. Mark hates him. But um, I really enjoy the Charisma on Command channel. Ugh. I bought their course, Charisma University. Um, it helped me a lot, believe it or not. I, I learned a lot from it. I love their channel. They do Charisma breakdowns on, like, cool movie characters. They did all the Game of Thrones characters. They did, uh, they pick, like, actors to do breakdowns on. I learned so much from their channel. In fact, it's in if you go to my like main channel page, it's in the channels that Starla recommends. It's it's not that I dislike the channel. I just disagree with them on so many things that I can't. And their faces, they they just have those faces you want to, <laughs> you just want to knock them. <laughs> I, I hate their faces. Uh, it's it's uh, refreshing to listen to USA coaches that understand the authenticity thing. In the UK, they can see straight through anything false, and if it works against you, ultimately. Oh, that yeah. We literally are the land that invented taking advantage of customers in any way possible. We invented industry oh. and, and advertising and getting as much money. That's the literally the American dream, getting as rich as you possibly can and living extravagantly, right? That's always been the point of moving here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, there, I mean... That used car salesman thing. And, and don't don't get me wrong. When I first started selling HAA, like our first launch, I, my, I, I had coaches, you know, and I took courses about courses. And they told me that that's what I had to do. Mm -hmm. And I did it, like the first launch. And, yeah, we, we got students. Amber Marie was one of them, and she still loves us, thankfully. Um, but I tried all those, like, things, and yep, it didn't. But we hate it. It didn't feel right. It, it, may, it gives you an awful feeling. Yeah. And for some people, that's fine if you can do that. Billionaires are billionaires because they took advantage of people, not because they were good at making something. That's uh, it'll Just get that out of the way. But you have a choice. Yeah. You have a choice. And if and I don't, I, we won't judge you if your morals are for that. Just understand that some people are going to view you as a bad person. And we don't want that. We, we market based on the fact that we're likable in different ways. The two of us are 
likable in different ways. Equal, but, equal but opposite, I think. Yeah, equal, equal but opposite. And we want to be as authentic and, and transparent. I think transparency is, is what I'm really trying yeah. to point out there. Uh, and we're, we're, not, we're transparent about the fact that we sell this to make a living. Yeah. But, and I just had, as a matter of fact, had a conversation with Anthony Wolf the other day about it. And it's, it's, a, it's a fine line with every industry between financial self-interest to get you to get up and work every day, but caring enough about the customers and the products that you're making to want to influence or change somebody in some way or change their life in some way or make them happy in some way. And I think that's what makes a, a, a someone who can make good money, but not exploit people, but still make enough to live on. And I think that's what we want to be. And I hope that you guys see that too. Yeah. And, and not just trying to, I mean, we've got one thing that we sell and we sell it twice. Uh, we could leave it open all year. Yeah, if we don't do that. Um, we could make a bunch of more things, which I mean, eventually I am going to make more things. Yeah. I, I want to make, I would love to make more courses. I love teaching. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. I used to be a preschool teacher. Um, I, I enjoy it, but I don't want to just make things to sell them. You know, that's not nope. the point. I want to make sure that that's why we're continuously adding freebies to HA. <laughs> right. Rather than selling them separately. I could totally sell all these bonuses oh, separately, yeah. but we're just sticking them in HAA and giving them to our current students. So. If, if we're going to sell another course, it's going to be a full, a, a full separate experience from handmade alpha academy i like that what was that last comment that one of our competitors shouts her no returns cancellations exchanges policy on her banner shop announcement and every listing has five star average eleven thousand sales we try to do it nicely and get and get nasty grams nasty messages oh, okay yeah that's that's how it is unfortunately and that's that's the worst thing about it the crappier of a person you are in your marketing strategy and aggressive about your brand you're probably going to make more money that way. That's absolutely true. We could we could have easily tripled the amount of money we made on HAA exploiting and taking advantage of customers who don't know better, but we don't do that. Yeah. We're completely honest and we don't make promises. We are we we cannot promise that HAA will do anything for you because at the end of the day it's up to you to do the work. To do the work and we can't do that work for you. So, but we could say, "Oh, we guarantee it's going to work." We do guarantee that it works if you work. Right. <laughs> and, you I mean, you can look at 500 students who have gone through HAA. And some of them have done well. Most of them have done yeah, well. Yeah, most of them have done well. We've Otherwise, they would have refunded the course, which we offer, because we want to make sure that if it's not for you, we don't keep your money. That's no, no. I give it right back. We give it back. So, all right. Anyway, anyway enough, enough ranting about our high horse. Uh, how would customers react if you significantly lowered your price by removing free shipping and removing the shipping cost? I'm thinking of those who bought at the higher price point. React if you Ooh. lowered your price? By removing free shipping and removing the shipping cost. Okay, so they're saying if they remove free shipping and if they had put the free shipping into their product, they're lowering the price and putting the shipping back to normal. I'm thinking those who bought at a higher price point. I don't, I don't think oh, you mean the people, you're afraid that the people who bought will like message feel, you and be upset? Feel ripped off. Just message them and say, just say that you separated the, the price from, just tell them it's the same price collectively. If yeah. anybody were to message you, just say, hey, it's the same price collectively. I doubt anybody's going to message you. No, I don't, I, I doubt that's going to happen. And for the, for those people, those are people that didn't understand that free shipping isn't really free shipping. It's for, for most things. Some people do legitimately yeah. offer free shipping, but just, you shouldn't. Just say it used to be shipping included, and now it's uh, the shipping. I've just separated it out. You could even say it's for you know your own organization yeah. to be able to track it easier or tax purposes or whatever. Switching the product. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> 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 the be yourself advice. I hear it all the time, but what if your personality... Oh, oh you already, already... Yeah, we already read that. I'm having issues linking a valid debit card to open my shop. I've tried for several days, cleared cookies, restarted. Any suggestions or similar problems? I would get with Etsy. Yeah, that that sounds like an Etsy support question because um, I'm not sure. might have to be a credit card. No, I, no. I like my debit card. Yours is linked to your PayPal. That's true. Uh, my, my card. what are you guys going to eat for Thanksgiving if you're feeling okay from an intrigued Welsh person? Uh, I don't, I'm going to order everything on the Kroger app, so I don't know yet. We know that she's going to make sweet potato or sweet potato. 
Yeah, sweet potato casserole. I'd make a really good one. He makes the best cranberry sauce in the world. I make 100% from scratch, nothing from a box cranberry sauce. It's so good. You guys should email him and ask him for the recipe. I don't need to do that. Find Gordon Ramsay's recipe. Oh, yeah, for, that's true. For uh, cranberry sauce. It was a Christmas cranberry sauce thing that he did. The only thing that I do different is I add vanilla whole, bean. whole vanilla bean seeds Take the vanilla bean. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. This is not a cooking tutorial, but yeah. And probably some turkey. And some turkey. And some crappy box <laughs> stuffing because we prefer that. Sharon, I hope it wasn't me that upset you. No, it was the person who said, please fix the issue. No, you're, you guys are fine. We we get it. Somebody was, was snotty about if it. If you can give us a hard time, we got to give you a hard time. Just, it's okay. Yeah. That's how it works, right? Uh, I had a few of my items show available in my shop when I preview. They show that they aren't available. I had to deactivate, and I'm assuming they might reactivate them to get them to be sellable. Any idea what's happening? Nope, I would get with Etsy. Well, when I add new items to my shop, sometimes it takes a while for them to actually show up. I'm not sure why that's happened to me. Um, it's probably just a lag based on how many people are on Etsy at the time. I mean, yeah. From a technological standpoint, they're growing and growing and growing, and it takes companies time to actually accurately predict how much extra server space and power they need to continue operating. So if they're on a really busy day with traffic they weren't expecting, things can lag behind. Like when I make changes to HAA sometimes, when we're actually selling HAA and the website is swarming with new people, sometimes the website doesn't even update. I have to completely take the website down, update it, and put it back up real quick for it to even do anything. So it happens. Speaking of which, HAA students, the automation bonus, uh, Mark will be getting that edited this upcoming week. So look for the new automation chimp bonus, which will teach you how to create an automation series for MailChimp. And there will also be a lead page bonus, which lead pages is expensive, so <laughs> it's not something that you have to do if you want to use your standard uh, MailChimp sign-up page. But uh, if you guys want to see an example of a lead page, those are like the, the freebies that I have linked down below. The HAA waitlist page, the Black Friday toolbox, those actual pages were built with lead pages. So, all right. Uh, is it possible that the sale event is not visible in some countries? I can see the blue box, but it doesn't have the sale event, so I can schedule the sale. Maybe. P potentially. We, Maybe. We don't know. Etsy wasn't super good on releasing information about this sale. If you're not in the U.S., um, let us know in the comments if you have that sale option on in your blue box. Because it is technically a Black Friday sale. It's, yeah. it's a pre-Black Friday sale. So. Yeah, let us know if you're not in the U.S. and you have the option. And you guys and your country, maybe. Do you guys have a video about how to navigate Etsy payments? Trying to make sure I have my prices to accurately reflect the fees. We actually don't um, because Etsy fees have changed so much. Even in HAA, we have a pricing strategy video, um, but it doesn't talk about so much as fees. What I recommend you doing is go into erank.com and use their pricing calculator because with that, you can incorporate in all of the Etsy fees, uh, you can also use the ROI calculator um, to see your return on investment for your ad spend. So I would use those two. You guys have the blue box, but do you have the ability to do the Black Friday sale? Yes. That, I wasn't asking you. I was asking the people in the UK. Oh, no, I'm agreeing box. with you. I'm saying yes, that's, what, that's the information that we need. Okay. But no, it's not, because we need to know if they have the sale, not the blue box. Yes. This person said that they have the blue box, but not the sale. Right, and I'm saying yes, I am agreeing that we need to know if they have the sale option. Grumpy bunch. Grumpy I'm not bunch grumpy, of I'm hungry is what I am. Oh, I'm hungry too. Uh, will you guys be, I don't know where the questions, the questions Scroll way the, down, we are the, so much farther down than that. No, we're not, because I haven't seen any of these. Do, will you guys be eating Thanksgiving? Where do you see that? What will you guys be eating for Thanksgiving? So, all right. If I have an existing sale, there we go. the Cyber Week sale will override it, right? Whatever sale's higher. And whatever sale is the highest will be the one that is applied. There was somebody that asked earlier uh, if they could apply a coupon or something like that with the sale, and. Not unless you use Etsy on sale, and then if you're using Etsy on sale, then you don't qualify uh, for the nope. for the Cyber Week sale. 
Uh, I know what you mean about being who you are with your shop. So much better. Yep. Uh, is it possible that the sale of the... Okay. I already saw that. Uh, do you guys have a video about... Uh, okay, I already you read saw that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Switching the product ads does affect, babe. Oh, this, they, they apologize. Oh, okay. And said they love us. That's Thank fine. you. We, we, we will, love we you. will get to your question, and if for whatever reason YouTube deletes the questions, we always ask people to post yes. their questions again. We love you. I sell theme decals and offer free shipping. I fight with adding $3 for shipping, but would uh, it'd be better to do that with tracking for the holidays? I struggle with undercharging. Always track. If you can do it with tracking, always offer tracking. I would. I would offer tracking even if it costs a little extra for your customers got a new one today customer complaining that her leggings shoes dress and mask are not perfectly color matching they're printed on different materials using different inks yep mm. some people be idiots yep uh i paid for e-rank after your videos what are the top ways or things i can learn from competitors who are selling way more to hone in on similar products and sale volumes look at um for your competitors, for one, I would use uh, use their shop as a good reference, but don't spend too much time comparing yourself to them um, because they could have big social media followings. They could have a big email list. You never know uh, why they're doing as well as they are. I would begin just kind of analyzing the, the keywords that they're using. Um, I You can use your little E-Rank shortcut button if you have that. You can go to the E-Rank YouTube channel to learn how to add an E-Rank shortcut button. We actually had that video added by Pam recently, so look for the thumbnail with the little rocket. Um, you can add that, and then when you click on a competitor's listing, you can analyze that listing. So that's what I would do. But ultimately, I wouldn't spend too much time uh, oogling over competitors because they could just be making sales because their listing quality scores are really good. You never know. So, uh, Can customers search through the cyber sale for specific items or just a big list? Would it be useful for very niche items? I'm going to assume that they're going to have it divided out into sections like their current holiday sale is. So shop home decor, shop, uh, shop gifts for her, shop gifts for him. Uh, shop kids, shop pets. I assume that it's going to be laid out. I'm not sure. Depends on how niche it is. Audrey said you can find it in the coupons at the bottom I signed up for. Oh, cool. Okay. Go to your uh, marketing tab on the left-hand side. And go into your sales and promotions area. Look in coupons. Please tell Anthony Wolf that E-Rank is amazing. I started using it because of you guys and Aww. gladly pay the pro every month now. Use it constantly. I will, but he knows. <laughs> he knows it's good. We love But he's you. always trying to make it better. That dude does nothing but work. He does. That's all he does. Uh, I was asking if you share a link of your item copied from Etsy search. It says most relevant search query in it. Is it better to use those links and hope Etsy will read it as it was found organically? That's a very advanced question. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? We don't know. Um, but I would assume no. I was a, if you share a link of your item copied from Etsy search, it says most relevant search. So the, it's like the link itself where it has that tracking ID uh -huh. from being found organically in search. And if you were to share that particular link, would it count as being an organic mm. find in search? I don't know. It makes the link look ugly when you're sharing it, it on social it, media. But you can always tiny URL it. But I don't know. I don't know. This is a question for Anthony Wolf. Yeah. Check out his live stream next week at whatever day they are doing. I'm not doing it next She's week. She's not doing it. It's next Thanksgiving. Week. You're Thanksgiving. Pam's doing it though. You can post in the E Rank group and ask uh, and tag Anthony Wolf there, and he might know. Just E Rank group on Facebook. Sarcasm is my middle name. Yeah. Miss Sarcasm Sparkles. You don't even, <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> I feel like if your audience was mostly metalheads, Mark wouldn't get any crap at all. Like if your audience is right for you, it doesn't matter. I like to think. N nah. <laughs> I've been in the metal scene a long time. It would probably be worse, but it would probably be trolls Pe more than anything. People in the metal scene are just jerks to each other for fun. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's where it comes from, honestly, if you want to know why I'm such a jerk. 
Yes. Well, plus the military. Well, the mili- whole they, military. They thing. beat the nice out of him. <laughs> no, they they beat the acceptance of stupid out of me. That's I don't like. I don't like. I don't like stupid. Low- I'm understanding, but don't be stupid. He's a. But he's such a sweet man. He's such a sweet man. And he- there is a difference between ignorance and stupidity. Ignorance is a lack of intelligence. Stupidity is an intentional lack of intelligence. Anyway, there's another guru whose personality is downright. Uh, I don't know that word, and bitter. Uh, they're ranking in the sales because it's genuine to them. You do you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, think of it this way. If you never had any tech issues, you wouldn't get all of the super helpful advice. That's right. That's true. I'm British, so it all comes naturally to me. Yeah. Going on a journey as a coach, uh, you learn the tools and adapt it to your own authentic self. Exactly. Thanks to Starlight HA, we were able to sell to, to Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers. Can't say which yet. Ooh, you better keep me posted. Sold to a Warner Brothers show. Now I'm wondering. Dope. Now I'm curious. Starlight, you're the best. Aw. I made homemade cranberry sauce. So good. It is so. Can you better. give us your sausage gravy recipe? Again? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it real quick. So. Saute yourself one large yellow sweet onion, or a little less if you think it's going to be too much, in a pan. And then you need to cook a half pound of bacon, and then a half pound of sausage. Diced bacon. I don't use diced bacon. Oh. Well, you can. Cut it up. Cut it up into little fine squares. Fry it up with the sausage in the pan. And you can change the recipe depending on how much you want to make. I personally make the double this size. Uh, add a little bit of garlic powder to it. Once it's all fully cooked or most of the way cooked, you want the sausage and bacon to be crispy. Add enough flour on top in order for it to soak up the grease. And then add a couple tablespoons of milk in and continue adding milk until it's to the consistency. Add milk, stir, add milk, stir, until it's to the consistency that you like. Salt and pepper to taste. You can salt and pepper at any any step. Pour it over some big old buttermilk biscuits. I don't personally do that. He does potatoes. I yeah, I do like uh, sliced Sc- potatoes. Scalloped. Yeah, I scalloped potatoes, no cheese, but scalloped potatoes in the oven with more sweet onions. I freaking love. So I put onions in everything. I love onions. Samantha. Anyway, I started HA in June. I'm in the UK. My shop is booming. It was Woo! a real, uh, realness and likability of Starla and the flat out honest opinions you get from Mark that made me go for it. Aww. Should you increase production time for made to order items in product in preparation for Black Friday? I would. Yeah. We have a video about shipping time cutoff dates. Um, we had somebody in the group uh, this week who was uh, really upset that I was telling sellers to set their shipping cutoff dates ahead of time. And he was saying that you need to shop, ship until the very last minute to optimize sales. You can totally do that if you want to, but if your packages don't arrive on time and you get bad reviews, um, don't post in the group complaining because I told you guys that you should set early shipping cutoff dates this year where in a really bad time for shipping. I've got a video on it. You guys can yeah, go watch if you it. Don't, if you don't agree with that, you haven't been paying attention to the news. <laughs> Does anyone know how a listing that has multiple quantities, such as three red, two blue items, renews after it sells out? Only, uh, it only asks for one inventory number during renewal, so I'm not sure how that's allocated. I'm not sure. You, that's a hard one. Yeah, because we do ours on a customization basis yeah. with variations. Yeah, the so. variations don't have quantities. That's very, that's very interesting. Um... Uh, maybe set your quantities to one for a day on a product that you know is going to sell, and then you can just quickly put stock yeah. back into it just to see or, what happens. Or always keep the quantity at the lowest number available. So if you have if you have five reds and four blues, set the quantity to four, and then there's no possibility that somebody orders five blues. Yeah. Uh, in Greece, no cyber sale option, just a blue box saying, get your holiday shop ready, or get your shop holiday ready. Yeah, we don't know about that. If you don't have a box, just schedule the same sale with the dates minimum 20%. That worked last year. Okay. Okay, Maybe. cool. We can't promise, but if it worked last year, there's a potential. Boop, boop. Your rank has a pricing calculator. Yes. It, it do. I'm going to email Etsy and see if they can set you up with a link. Yeah, that's what I would do. If you if you absolutely can't find it, nothing you're 
doing is working, shoot them an email because at the end of the day, if we swarm them with emails and there's a legitimate problem, they will be they will be made aware of it. Get so. Alexandra's. This is this one's important. The Swarovski discontinuing their craft supply products in mid 2021. Check with the major authorized distributors like E Hashley. What are you doing with your products? So I actually emailed Swarovski, and for one, uh, they don't read their emails. They just reply with the most redundant crap you could ever imagine. So uh, we don't know yet because I was trying to verify whether or not that was true. I've seen a lot of articles about it. Um, some distributors have, like eHashley, have it on their websites. Others don't. Uh, specifically, we use art beads, art beads and, and they pretty much rely on Swarovski, and they've said nothing. So, I don't, don't know. know. Um, if Swarovski discontinues, we don't know. We're not at liberty to discuss that yet, because we haven't decided. Um, you know, I'm sure that we'll be able to find crystal rivolis from someone else. I'm, I know that Swarovski isn't the only company that makes crystals. It's just we don't it's, have the luxury of saying that they're Swarovski crystals. Yeah, we used to use that as a selling point. At this point, the shop's big enough that I don't think it matters. But because Swarovski, it's not like they're the only company that makes high quality rivolis. Other companies make them at equal or better quality. So we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, and you have, uh, I'm in the U.S. and don't have it. Not saying it's Cyber Week sale. So will you be on Friday being after Thanksgiving? We don't know. We, we talked about that earlier. We're not sure yet. Um, so I offered a higher discount code to my email list. Will I stay in the Etsy sale? We, we don't know. Um, wait, no. Okay, so they, they're running the Etsy sale, but they offered a discount code to their email list. Yeah, you'll stay in the Etsy sale if the higher... Di the higher discount code, those people who use it are just going to get the higher discount code. But if you have the sale running for yeah. the general public, then yeah, you should still stay in the sale. What part of E-Rank is the price calculator? I believe, oh man, can someone check? Go to E-Rank.com and check what tab it's in. Just go go to E-Rank and hover over the tabs. You'll see one that's called pricing calculator and ROI calculator. Uh, I think it should be under shop. Shop tools. Is it possible Etsy isn't letting me opt into their Cyber Week sale because I have a 40% off sale set up for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday? I'm not sure. I doubt it. I'm not to be, sure. To be honest with you, I, I don't think it is. Do you work for E-Rank? We do, but we do not get paid to recommend it. We, yes. Mark just started working I just for e started working for E-Rank, and I am the data analyst. I have worked for E-Rank since February, and I've been recommending it for the last four years. So uh, I've been recommending it way longer than I've worked for E-Rank. E rank is a little rank. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, could it's a little rank. Could you do or do you have a video that discusses the best ways of tracking finances? Uh, maybe what you think are the best apps to use. Nope, because we do everything on pen and paper. Yeah, we and we have an accountant. Um, we do have some accounting videos from one of our alphas who's an accountant we have an we have a tax accountant we don't use an, an actual yeah. accountant there's a big difference i would go and watch our videos uh our accounting videos and our tax season videos uh and we want to have another one um with michelle harris we just haven't been able to schedule one with her but look for our videos with michelle harris we have two on our channel where we answer she answers tax questions lots of people asking is it's because i already have coupons running it potentially could be we're just uh, not sure. Christina said profit calculator is in the tools tab. There Thank you. you. Uh, I saw a t-shirt that said stupid should hurt. It, <laughs> it should. You a little prick on, the, prick on the tip of your pinky toe every time you do something <laughs> stupid. Ow. Um, uh, I'd like to discontinue my free shipping on 35 or more. Is that easy to do? Um, I would assume so. I assume you just turn it off within your marketing tab or your sales and coupons. I'm not sure. What, I'm it is. what percent profit should you make to sure you keep running or should you keep when you're running a sale? That's entirely up to you. Yeah. As um, long as you're still in the green, it's a, it just depends on how much you're willing to lose. And Because at the end of the day, you make more sales. It's not just about the money. It makes your shop look better. So can help your search ranking. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good factors that play in because uh, more reviews and more sales equals higher listing quality scores, which equals higher search rankings. But you should never be losing money. So it, it really just depends on how much you want to make and how much you want to, you know, treat your customers. Larissa said metalheads can cook. Yeah. I make Michelin star quality food when I have the equipment available to do so. 
He's He's I the can, only I one can, who cooks. I can genuinely make food about as good as like a, a gourmet chef can make if I have the equipment. His favorite, it. he watches channels of, uh, and this sounds silly, but one of his favorite things to watch is little old men, like old, like mm -hmm. 90s, little old men doing wholesome cooking mm -hmm. and with bad quality recordings, just little old men doing their own recordings. What's the one that you watch? Future man. Feature man. Feature man. And that's the funny thing too is he's awful. He's he not sucks a sucks at cooking. But the but thing it's is, so is sweet. when it when it comes to cooking, you watch a lot of different sources and you learn a lot of different things. For instance, I watch a channel called Townsend's and they cook food from like the eighteenth century. It's primarily the eighteenth century, but they do like fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth century cooking. And you learn a lot of little things about how other other ways you can do things and you can and you can incorporate stuff. But yeah. Following cooking directions doesn't always make you cook the best food because you don't necessarily understand how to do the things in each step correctly. They can give you a recipe, but they can't give you the skills. And the skills is what separates a chef from a home cook. He's a fantastic cook. I know that that's like a weird thing that you guys probably didn't know. But he, <laughs> I can cook a gourmet meal. He is an amazing cook. I love cooking. Anyway. But does constantly selling out of an item have any effect on Etsy's algorithm? Or on Etsy's rating of your listing or just the number of sales an item have. Selling out doesn't unless it could hurt you if it sold out and you let it sit for like three weeks before you relisted because there's no activity helping to maintain that listing quality score. Same as if you go on vacation mode, um, your activity level ceases. In terms of like a listing just repetitively selling though, the, the sale itself is what's going to help the listing quality score. So it doesn't matter if it sells out. Um, it's, it's the listing quality score is going to go up based on sales and positive reviews of that listing. So, um, I don't think that selling out entirely is going to have an effect unless it sat for a long time and then you would, you know, not have activity on that listing, which could potentially hurt a little bit. Uh, Beachcation have a new supply and supplier contract of Swarovski channels. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, if I remove free delivery during Black Friday sales, would that affect my listing score? You're like your, you mean your listing quality score is what they're probably saying. I don't know. That shouldn't have any effect on your listing quality score. Nope. If you have a brand new baby shop, baby, should we do the Etsy sale for visibility? I would. I would. Uh, yeah. I definitely would. Don't hurt. don't do like a double dip sale or anything. I would definitely do uh, Etsy sale and try to, you know, drive a little bit of traffic get out in the big C. I'm not promising that you'll make sales, but it can't hurt. There is no negative that could come from it. Watch Pasta Grannies. Pasta Grannies. I'll give them a shot. I want to watch Pasta Grannies. We you guys love... have been on for almost two hours. Go grab a coffee. You know, about... you know, honestly, I like doing these, and I know she does too. We're almost at the end. We're so almost at the end. We want to make it to the end. Metalheads can be the best cooks. Alex yeah. is a good cook too. His bass player, he, he's, he, he's a chef. He literally went to school for it, so... <laughs> Uh, my husband is a cook here too. We watch anime food wars on Netflix. He looked and attempts some of their recipes. Uh, love Townsend's. We live close to them. They're Aww. just so freaking wholesome. That's the thing I like about those old school cooking channels. I don't care about the actual food. It's just nice to get on the internet and see something that's positive. just genuine. Not even just positive. Genuinely wholesome. Like he did videos about like the current politics and was just it was literally just a video of him making hot cocoa by a fire to tell you everything was gonna be okay. Like so that is sweet. the most wholesome crap. And at the end of the day, it's nice to have something like that. Anyway, uh, I have some items that are zero to five views after many months. Would you recommend that I edit the listing bad SEO or delete it and relist it with the same edits? Does it matter? Either or. Um, you could try changing the SEO and then um, see how that works, which Mark, I, I had a listing that it, it's like a weird, just oddball product. It mm -hmm. was a, a key that I made with a little mushroom on it. Um, it. It wasn't getting any views, no sales. And I had Mark go in and change the SEO. We didn't renew the listing or anything. We just uh, edited the SEO and we're tracking it through E-Ranks Change Tracker. And it immediately started getting views favorites and eventually got a sale, like I think three or four days later. So um, you could try that. And if that doesn't work, then maybe try relisting it. All right. Rachel's question will be the last one that I actually answer. Okay. Uh, people know I'm cooking because something usually smells like burning. Uh, I'm not allowed to cook now. Hubby does most. Yeah. 
Most people don't know that, like, for most dishes, you're never going to turn your burner up past, like, five or six. Most people crank it all the way up and cook on the high. That's, that's like, the number one mistake I see people uh, make. Look at Stacy's. What? Stacy's. I, I will. We have a question to her. Oh, okay. Uh, for new stores, do we do the sales on the site that cost four credits or you recommended last year or on Etsy? Talking about Etsy on oh, sale. Oh, we kind of covered this, Rachel. We have a whole video covering whether you should do Etsy on sale or this Etsy site-wide sale that this episode was about. Um, look for the video on my channel from a few weeks ago. It's a Friday bean episode, and the thumbnail is someone dipping a cookie into a coffee mug. Um they're dipping like a butter cookie into a coffee mug. I can't remember the name of it, but it's something about Etsy moneymaker, money-making sale, or something about money-making. Look for that video because we talk about the difference between double dip and site-wide sale and which one you should opt into uh, based on your goals. Thank you for seeing, being so relatable and so genuine. Your videos, tips, and advice have helped me immensely. I got contacted by a major newspaper Aww. for my Christmas ornaments to do a feature. That's awesome. That is so cool. Fendi Witch had asked uh, if we have opinions about Patreon. We set one up and we never ended up using it. Um, mm -hmm. Should you focus on... I think it just depends on what you would be creating it about. You have to have content that's worth people paying for. So mm -hmm. what is the content? You have to decide for yourself if what you have to provide is worth someone giving you money for. Because um, you, it, it is an exchange. It's not just a, a donation basis. Um, you're, you are exchanging a something to them. So usually that's content. I would build out a content strategy and maybe talk about a topic that would be, you know, useful to your niche or exciting to your niche. Uh, am I correct? You have to use Etsy on sale in order to do a double dip. You yes. are correct. Yes. yes. And we have info on that. Yeah. Down below, Black Friday Toolbox, that includes the double dip strategy. Uh, I'll be sending you guys some of my ornaments. All right. Aww. Uh, we need to circle back to Amber's idea of Christmas party. Mark needs to bust out a Santa costume. I'll, I'll do Krampus. Do the Krampus. Uh, that was one of my faves back in the day. The program was pure trash, but I loved it. Oh, the it's Ready Steady Cook. I'm new to your channel. You sound like I should do some binge watching. You, you should. probably should. You should, Becca. There's so much. And you should probably subscribe if you haven't already. And then click that little bell icon. Ba ding ding ding. To see when we go live and when we upload videos. I like the video. Yeah, give the video a like if you I like mean, it. And then just ignore it. that thumbs down button because it's trash. It's not there. It's Every trash. time you click it, kittens cry. Mm hmm. And a beautiful bald eagle falls from the sky, mm -hmm. and a whale cries, mm -hmm. and a butterfly dies. Yeah. So, and so Mark don't... doesn't bake any pies. Mm. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the stream. We did. Um, we did. We did hope that you enjoyed the stream. Last. <laughs> yes, we did. La last and and news and news audio is wonky that's all right we're we're getting off anyway black friday toolbox link down below make sure that you grab that this is your last chance uh -huh. I'm, I'm putting it away i'm getting rid of it only Bye. haa students will be able to have it uh handmade alpha academy opens december 1st we close the doors for enrollment on december 10th so there's only a 10-day window uh otherwise you have to wait until yep. june so this is a really great black friday resolution uh if you want to really kick off 2021 with power and build yourself a good marketing funnel and a good marketing strategy we've got over 500 students in haa many of which are insanely successful so and others are still growing. So, uh, and then the Brand Planet webinar will be on December 5th, and that is free to the public. Mm -hmm. I'll have more information on that uh, when HAA opens. So, all right. And we may or may not see you next week. I'm leaning more towards probably not, but keep your eyes and ears out for your emails and posts and whatnot. And uh, if we do it, we do it. If not, we'll have something else. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Mark's got some videos to edit for Ugh. me, so there will be some YouTube videos. Yeah. All There's right. only 67 likes. There's 187 of you here. Get that thumbs up button going hit if it. you haven't already. Ready? Every time I clap, I want you guys to, to hit it. Ready? Yeah. Boom. Did you hit it? Boom. Did you hit it? Just don't hit it twice because it gets rid of it. Boom. Did you hit it? Well, that I, I clapped three times, so that would have canceled that. All right. We All love right. you guys. We love you guys. Have a great weekend. Please be safe. 
Um, and eat some turkey next week if we don't see you. Oh, drink some water. Drink some water. Drink some water. It's good for you. Goodbye. Bye, guys.